Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current skincare routine along with some of my other skincare favorite products that I'm going to be recommending throughout the video as you guys will see. You guys know it is pretty much almost winter time. It is so cold outside and we are constantly blasting that heat in the car, in the house. So it's dry air. My skin is crying for help. So I was like, you know what, let me get it under control. Let me figure out what works best for my skin. And I think I found something that works for me and I just want to share it with you guys. So if you guys want to see my winter skincare routine, for more drier combination skin, definitely keep on watching. I will also leave links in the description box below of all the products and the ways you can get different deals. Just wanna tell you a little bit about my skin. So I used to be acne prone, if you guys didn't know. I still suffer from minor breakouts nothing major other than that my skin is pretty normal i have combination skin summertime i'm usually very oily in my t-zone normal elsewhere right now what i'm going through is i'm shiny right around the nose area and a little bit of the brow area but i'm dry everywhere else like my skin needs all the hydration it can get that's why i'm doing this video for you guys today because i know i'm not the only person who is going through this weird weather change and your skin going ape shit. So I'm going to start off with cleansing. So I thought I'd share this skincare tool. This is the Foreo Luna 3 skincare device. This video is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say anything. So everything is my honest opinion. You guys know I'm always 110% honest when it comes to recommending things. So I love this because if you think about it, when you take a cleanser, trying to clean your face and you're just using your hands, you're only cleaning the surface. How deep are you really cleaning into your skin? So I love this tool because it does pulsate and it really gets into the skin, works your products and pushes that cleanser. And if you're using the backside, your anti-aging products into the skin, you're gonna see better results with your skincare long-term. If I do wear makeup, I will use makeup wipes, cleansing balms, you name it, to break down the makeup. And then I'll go in with my cleanser and my Luna 3 to really deep clean my skin. So I pretty much double cleanse. The cleanser I'm gonna be showing you guys today is the Belief Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. Absolutely been loving this. A little goes a very long way, really cleans the skin and gets rid of any excess dirt and impurities. And it works really well right now with my dry skin. Here are some other options that you guys can try. So I just got my face wet and I'm gonna take my Luna 3 and I did get that wet as well. And I'm gonna take Belief Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. Literally you need very little. And what I love about this is you can sync it up to your phone. I already have the setting set. So I'm just gonna double hit the back. It starts vibrating. Alright, so I just washed my face and I always love how my skin feels after I use the Foreo Luna 3 along with that cleanser. The Foreo really deep cleanses and then it also um, kind of exfoliates so my skin is super soft. I don't feel super dry afterwards after I use this cleanser. Of course, I'm going to go in with a moisturizer and all of that. But for right now, I'm telling you it's probably one of the only cleansers as of now that I've tried that really just gives me that hydrated feel on my skin and my skin feels super clean after using it. So I'm quickly going to just show you guys the type of exfoliants that I've been using, especially with the dry air and with dry skin. Sometimes we notice a lot of texture and I love to use exfoliators. So I must say this in itself really helps get rid of that texture, but I've been using this Ula Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. I really only use this once a week just to get rid of any of that texture, especially around the nose. I don't really have to use it all over. I can just kind of use it in areas that I know are my problem areas. If you are dealing with like flakiness or texture, it's good to exfoliate to get rid of that dead skin but always 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 make sure you hydrate and moisturize and give your skin that moisture back as far as vitamin c serums and all that i do love using those so i'm going to show you two of my favorites so i have the ula henriksen true serum which has collagen and vitamin c and then i have the i do care thirst things first revitalizing vitamin c mist mask so i'm just going to take this facial mist And then I am going to use the True Serum on my neck because I never forget about that. So I probably should have did this before the vitamin C, but I'm going to show you a couple of masks that I normally use. So I'm going to be showing you the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I also use the Fresh Rose Mask, which is a little bit more hydrating and nourishing, which would be perfect. So I like doing masks, if not every night, at least like twice a week. I like to do like a nice hydrating, nourishing type of mask on my skin, especially when I have a day off. It's nice to just pamper yourself. Just gonna put this on. Look crazy. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes just to really make sure my skin absorbs all of this dewiness. And I'll be back. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. I'm gonna take this off. Excuse the baby hairs. 
Ugh, look at all that hydration. There's so much more serum left in this packaging and I love to refrigerate it, so. And then what I like to do is just massage all of that serum into the skin. It really just gives me a nice layer of hydration, but really just makes me look dewy and I like that type of look on my skin without looking oily. Next, I'm gonna go into moisturizer. So I'm just gonna show you the one that I've been using and that has been saving my skin. So this right here is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. When my skin first transitioned into the dryness, the desert, this was probably the only moisturizer that gave me consistent hydration. It is a thicker cream. I'm just going to go in with that. But trust me, when your skin is dry, it needs all the moisture it can get. And that's why I like dipping into thicker creams. Usually I love when I'm like in the summertime, for instance, I love gel moisturizers, which is like the Tatcha water cream, I believe it is. And I just like how lightweight it is. But in the wintertime, it's not enough. But I just love how it works. I even got my mom onto this and she's more dry than I am. She's like absolutely in love with it. She likes how it makes her skin feel. But you can just see now from like the beginning of the video how hydrated my skin looks. So when it comes to eye creams, I'm pretty much back and forth I really haven't found one that I extremely love anything to keep my under eyes hydrated and looking somewhat alive I use the Kylie skin one in my skincare video that I did when I reviewed her skincare line but I've also been using the inky list the caffeine one I'm gonna be using the Kylie skin one this one has vitamin E green tea pomegranate extracts to help brighten hydrate and reduce puffiness I like it because it's a little bit thicker and I like to keep that protection if you like something a little bit lighter you might like the inky list so it's the caffeine one. Perfect for eye prep underneath of the eye. Really helps with any type of fatigue and puffiness. So next I'm going to get into my lip skincare regimen. Dry lip season. I wear lip balm and chapstick all year round and I'm always making sure I take care of my lips since it is such a delicate part of our skin. Last thing I want to be doing is biting my lips, having them look raw. It's not cute. I need hydrated plump lips. So I'm going to show you this lip scrub that I've been using. You can make your own lip scrub, but this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. And I probably do this once a week. I don't want to overdo it. You can definitely tell when your lips need some exfoliation. So after any exfoliation, especially after exfoliating my lips, I'm going to go in with a lip mask. So one of the ones I've been using is the I Do Care Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. I also use the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask as well, but I can't find mine. So I'm just going to use this for the video. And I love doing this every night. And when I tell you, I haven't had any issues with my lips being dry throughout the day. As you guys can still see, my skin still looks dewy and fresh and hydrated. And that's definitely something that I need. And then to finish off my skincare that I always do every Every morning and night before anything is I use my beauty elixir spray from Caudalie. This is good for like a refresher but it reminds me of like a spa like aroma which I love and I love going to bed and I feel very refreshed and hydrated on top of everything that I just did so I'm gonna go in with this. All right, you guys, so that completes my skincare routine for you guys. As you guys can visually see, my skin looks hydrated. It looks very dewy and moisturized and fresh and clean, but also for me, it feels amazing. As I always say, my opinions are my own and what I recommend and what I show you guys are things that I like. They may or may not work for you, so always keep that in mind. I am no skincare expert, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or need some advice or anything, comment in the section below. Feel free to jump in on those conversations because I'm always responding to you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.